Hey students, it's Mr. Eckert. Um, thank you very much for those of you who have viewed and completed the last assignment. And uh, here's your next one. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a fun, safe New Year. And as always, give me a call if you have any questions. Thanks. Okay, Algebra 1 students, here we go. Today's lesson is going to be about understanding parts of quadratic equations. And a quadratic equation is an equation raised to the second power. Here's an example of one. Okay, so the highest power, the highest power, even though this one actually technically has a power of 1, the highest power is there, power of 2. Okay, so if you can remember back to my backyard, my backyard was this. And... Uh, we can move those around so that this comes first. That's just there. And then this comes second. And since it's positive here, it's going to be positive here. And there's the equation. And we could just write that as y equals negative 2x squared plus. 500x, and that was Eckert's backyard. Okay, we'll come back to that in just a second. So, the standard form, okay, the standard form of a quadratic equation y equals a x squared plus b x plus c a b and c are numbers now this is on video so uh, anytime I'm going too fast of course you can just pause it okay so uh, today's lesson is actually going to be very very easy I'm going to give you an equation such as this. And you are just going to tell me what A equals, what B equals, <clears throat> and what C equals. So A is the number that's in front of x squared. So that means that A is going to be 2. B is the number that is in front of X by itself. That means B is 3. And then C is whatever number's over here. Positive 1. I know. Not very difficult. We'll get a couple others. Okay, so A is the number in front of X squared. B is the number in front of X. Well, here's X. B is this entire number, negative 5. Okay, and C is 4. We're going to look at two more. Only two more. Well, actually, three more. I lied. So we're going to look at the backyard. 2x squared plus 7x minus 1. Hopefully, now you're realizing how easy this is. a equals negative 2. b equals 7. c equals negative 1. Incredibly simple. Okay, so uh, let's see another one.
So, a little bit trickier. A is the number that goes with x squared. Negative 10. C is the number that is by itself, no variable. 3, and as we know, B is the number that goes with x. And if there's no x, that means B has to be 0. Because what we really have here is this, negative 10x squared plus 0x plus 3, and then 0 times x equals 0. There it is. Okay, last one. My backyard. What is A? I heard somebody say it, negative 2, B, 500, is there any C? No, there is not. Okay, so uh, do your practice problems, give me a call if you have any questions.